Uh, we are making very good progress uh, across a whole range of those. Of course, we have now actually initialed the first of those major uh, trade agreements, which is with Switzerland. And which is responsible for almost a fifth of the total of the trade within those agreements. Uh, others will follow. As I said, the discussions are very often commercially quite sensitive, uh, and we will therefore uh, inform the House when we have signed agreements, not up till that point. Mr. Jim Cunningham. Mr. Speaker, and like my previous speaker, can I wish you, the staff, ministers, and everybody concerned a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy yeah. New Year? Yeah. Um, have indicated preferences for the UK to leave Brexit without a deal. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, not, not directly uh, that in the discussions that I have had with, with other countries, but what there very clearly is, is a desire to have an agreement um, so that in the transition of these agreements, before they become a more bespoke relationship, there is time and during an implementation period as set out in the government's proposals, the two years would enable us to do that. So it's clearly a preferential for, from both sides. Mr Philip Holliburn. Can the Secretary of State confirm that if we leave with no deal, on the 30th of March the sun will still rise, Britain will remain a premier global trading nation and that the present export boom and boom in inward investment are set to continue? Well, I, I'm, I'm grateful to my honourable friend for his usual patriotic and optimistic tone, Mr Speaker. He's quite right that the country is in the middle of an export boom. Our exports are at an all-time high at the present time. And in the first six months of this year, according to UNCTAD, uh, the United Kingdom was second only to China in terms of inward investment. It is truly a very positive picture uh, and a picture that we will be able to build upon whatever our relationship with the European Union. Gardner. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Can I, can I uh, on behalf of uh, the front bench here, uh, extend the Christmas greetings, and in particular to the Secretary of State and his team, uh, what the, your chaplain, I think, referred to as the perseverance of the wise men in prayers this morning. I think we all need that. Um, what assessment has the Secretary of State made of potential trade partners being unwilling to conclude new rollover agreements with the UK because of most favoured nation clauses already incorporated into agreements they have concluded with other countries and to whom they are unwilling to give the same trade preferences as they have with the EU? I am thinking of countries perhaps like Singapore where they might be unwilling to give other TPP countries the same access, for example, to their telecoms market as the EU has previously enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, as I say, we discuss uh, on a case-by-case -case basis with other countries. None of them have said to us that they don't want to continue to have an agreement with the United Kingdom, entirely understandable as we are the world's fifth biggest economy, um, where we are able to uh, translate those elements into the bilateral context we're doing so. As I say, we're working uh, through these, we're making good progress, and I'll report to the House as and when each of them is signed.